All right, hi everyone, it's Miss Stephanie here again. And so last time on our last activity, we did how to plant a plant in a pot. And we planted a strawberry inside a pot. But like how I told you in the last video, we can use anything. We can use vegetables or we can use any other fruit, okay? So for, for this time, for what we're gonna do today is we're actually gonna learn how to plant a plant on the ground, okay? So if you do have a yard, this is something that you could definitely, definitely, definitely try to do with you yourself or with your family. I definitely recommend it because this is not only, remember, it's not only an activity, this is also a life skill. So if you learn how to plant your own plants and your vegetables and your fruits, one day when you need to, you can have your garden ready for you to go, okay? So for today, this is the area that I'm working on, okay? So these have already been my plants that I've been gardening this whole quarantine. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna keep an eye on it this whole time and see how they grow. But for today, we're going to plant a, the remains of a lettuce, okay? So a lettuce, oh, lettuce is one of my favorite veggies for sure. I eat salads pretty often. So um, if you like lettuce or you like any other vegetable that you can think of, you just cut it down all the way to what you're not going to eat. So for this part, the lettuce, we're not going to eat this hard part. So this is the part that we're going to plant. Okay. So um, I'm going to show you over here. Um, this is another lettuce that we planted already. So this is what it's going to look like after we're done planting it okay so it's gonna this is a squash that's another vegetable and here are some serranos there's some green chilies i'm sure some of you have eat, eaten serranos in your food um and then i have green beans over here on this side uh, but we're gonna keep this garden going with lettuce okay so i'm gonna start with uh if you have a little rake you can use it but if you don't you can use your hand okay but I basically just started making a hole in the middle, just like this. And this is just enough so I can put my little my little scrap of lettuce, okay? So remember, this is just the lettuce that I bought from the grocery store. And we already are done using it. We already ate all the lettuce. <laughs> so this is the part that we can't eat no more. So I'm going to go ahead and put it right here. Okay? And you don't want to cover up the whole lettuce. You just want to cover it just enough like that just so this part can grow and have easy access and it won't have to fight through the dirt to get out okay and then we're gonna make it like a little like a little mountain just like this okay just so the water can stay inside and thank god you didn't bark at me I would <laughs> all right so and then I'm just gonna keep going to keep a little mountain I want it to look like this so that I can put fill it up with water right here okay this is you, that's super important that you design it like this in the ground that you are able to make it like this so that your water stays um, intact okay so I'm just pinching the floor like this so that way I can make like little mountains okay and that should be pretty good just want to make it pretty flat make it look nice there's some rocks right here so I'm gonna take them out and that's it okay so that's it there's my little lettuce it feels looks pretty good and now the last part is of course our awesome water so we need it okay so I'm just gonna fill it up all the way until just enough enough to the tip of the mountain right here Okay. So it's gonna the water is gonna sink. So that's that's okay. So I'm good with that. And that's it. That's gonna soak and nature's gonna do its course. And we're just gonna I'm gonna keep keep checking up on it every day. The is good, so I'm gonna keep checking it every day and watering it every other day. Um and that's it. Okay? So remember this is an essential life skill. Okay? So I'll show you another tip next time on what you can do during quarantine and some cool activities that involve STEM, okay? 
so i'll see you guys next time bye